Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss about advanced scenario based interview question. So why this is the advanced? This is because in this interview totally check your uh, investigation part from your inv investigation part to your skills each and everything and they will get to know that whether you have worked on it or not. So let me start. I will give you some example. But before that, let me show you that what actually uh, exactly the scenario is and uh, for this particular uh, lecture. So the interview will give you a scenario and in, in between they will stop you and they will change the scenario. Interviewer will try to check your skill and he will get to know whether you have worked earlier on it or not. For this type of question, you should have proper knowledge definitely and then only you can answer these, di uh, these type of questions. And for example, we have taken uh, maybe I think four questions just to show you that uh, just the demo that how they can actually ask this type of question. Let me start with the number one question. So let's say I'm the interviewer and you are one of the candidate. So you, you received one of the phishing email in your organization, then how you will investigate manually. Now, what will be your answer? Definitely, uh, you, will, you will have to elaborate this uh, answer. Uh, you will say you will do URL analysis, domain analysis attachments, right? And you will check whether the uh, email is spoofed or not. You will check the sender domain these kind of things you will check whether it's uh, malicious or not right and once you will set all these investigation you will set all these steps they will interrupt you this is the what the barrier question now interviewer stopped you definitely now the scenario is changed guys so let's say uh, everything is clean even the url even the attachments even uh, even the email is not spoofed the sender domain is also uh, you know showing the perfectly clean now but still the email is a phishing one the question is that how you will confirm it so here is the answer see it might be happen guys that uh, url attachment everything is clean but somehow that URL is redirecting to some other pages, right? And it might be a uh, happen that uh, that URL is asking for the uh, sending you a one on one of the page in which they are asking for the credential. So this type of emails, this this type of phishing email generally used for the credential harvesting. So this this could be your answer. Now, again. Uh, there is a very question. Let's suppose you entered the credential, right? It is given a, a giving an error. Then what will be your next step? Well, the see It can happen that you are just giving your credential and it is re, uh, reloading again and again So at least three times this is the uh, you can try th at least three and more times if it is showing the same error then uh, you should check the uh, uh, the redirected URL of that uh, URL actually then check for the reputation of those things and on those basis you will have to take the action uh, you will have to consider whether it's a phishing email or not right now uh, just it's a note so here interviewer can ask more questions right definitely so you should have the whole investigation you should have the knowledge of whole investigation of uh, phishing emails now we have the question second. You might have seen the organization use MITRE ATT&CK framework in their organization. But why do they use it? Though we have uh, antivirus, EDR, uh, SIM and other tools are there to secure uh, from suspicious, uh, suspicious activities, right? So what is the need of that MITRE ATT&CK in your organization? So let's see the answer. Okay, so these type of tools, let's say antivirus, EDR, SIM, can detect the suspicious activities. There is no doubt. But organization use attack framework just to map out the characteristics and specific tools used in attack 
across the MITRE ATT&CK frameworks and it helps the SOC team assesses the current effectiveness of the existing security measures and the impact of the attack. So basically whatever the security we have in our organization it actually checks all those measures of uh, whether this kind of let's say if there is some some technique different technique technique in the MITRE ATT&CK so whether our SOC team or you can say the security measures are enough to face those issues or not right uh, whether we uh, we are blocking we are just denying those traffic or not so this is what just a, a framework framework just to check the uh, you can say the existing security measures and the uh, that how it can be impact on us now attack allows defenders to assess whether they can defend against a specific ATP or you can say APT right and common behaviors across multiple threat actors question third we have uh, when you move the NIC cards from one PC to another PC does the MAC address get transferred as well definitely because the MAC address is in the NIC card actually so it is going to change but why it is going to change as I said because we are changing the NIC card and MAC address is already encoded in the NIC card that's that's the reason now last question we have very important one uh, mainly this is the most uh, asked questions uh, basically for the uh, scenario based question so the question is have you ever worked on any malware cases in your previous organization so definitely you might be have worked so in my case I worked on it uh, I worked on many of the like like emotet ICD ID ICD ID uh, many ransomwares as well lot of uh, phishing emails as of now I think uh, maybe uh, more than six or seven thousand emails I have already investigated okay now barrier question is that tell us how emoted work so you have to tell each and everything that how actually that malware or maybe it, it depends on you that uh, on which uh, case you have worked right so you have to elaborate it now the next question will be can you explain this malware in the form of a cyber kill chain now uh, here what does what does it mean it means what actually the interviewer wants you to just uh, uh, elaborate or you can say explain the text of uh, in the seven stages of cyber kill chain and which stages like say uh, that how how uh, it will be first part like reconnaissance, second part weaponization, delivery, exploitation, installation, command and control and then action on objectives. So you have to just correlate your uh, malware or whatever the attacks you have worked correlate, uh, correlate with these seven stages of cyber kill chain. For example like emoted, emoted generally comes through phishing email right. So in the reconnaissance definitely I am going to uh, gather the information of the uh, you know recipient means the user where I have to send the email correct now weaponization is that I will attach the file I will do each and everything uh, whatever I have to you know attach in the email body delivery delivery is that I will uh, send that email to the user and exploitation is that once the user is going to click on that attachment uh, that is directly going to install once it will install install I will get the command and control and after that I can uh, you know is to steal the data I can steal each and everything steal the password steal the confidential data different different things even uh, you know I can drop others malware too so this is how I correlate these things Right. I hope this these four questions are enough to just to tell you that how actually uh, these advanced uh, you can say scenario based question asked in the during the interview. Bye bye. Take care.